Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Mohit Kapoor. I am working as an assistant professor in Jitkara University Applied Science Department. So uh, my lab basically is working on the sustainable chemistry. We do we develop several different tools to take care of the medical needs and the the application of the of the medical devices by using the sustainable chemistry. Uh, basically, uh, we focus on the new um, MRI contrast agents. So our our uh, lab is working in the field of uh, MRI contrast agent developed from the natural resources as you can see on this on the first slide that uh, we are in the process of making the contrast agents from the cane sugar waste. Uh, so why we we care about the MRI contrast? Uh, actually, very few people knows about that that uh, MRI contrast agents are toxic in nature. Uh, every time when we go for the MRI, they do inject the MRI contrast agent in uh, via injection. Uh, most of the time, those contrast agents are develop are deposited in our brain or the kidneys which cause the infection or some kind of the disease in the longer term as you can see in the table on this slide that the brain uh, that the uh, most of the contrast agent have caused the brain damage or if they are fatal for the kidney million of people affected every year from these type of contrast agents so if we see the numbers is 20 million people approx caught infected from the mri contrast in 2017 and 18 and the and the, the trend is increasing year by year is not uh, so basically the reason behind the contrast agent toxicity is the hydrolinium metal which is toxic in nature when it's free uh, so there are several uh, companies which exist in the market they sell these contrast agent but most of those contrast agents are can we cannot use if the patient is already having the problem with the kidney uh, we cannot use if the patient is pregnant uh, cannot use for the uh, for the baby so the, the, the toddlers and the kids so to take care of all those, and the other thing is that they are very expensive and the other thing is they are really expensive they, if you go for the MRI contrast uh, you you spend over 20,000 for the MRI contrast so so what we are doing is that to bring down the cost of the MRI contrast within 1000 rupees by proposing the new contrast agent based on the graphene quantum lots extracted from the cane sugar waste the advantage of these contrast agents will be will be that they can be used for any patient without considering that the patient have some kidney issues or some kind of that the kidney the patient is a uh, pediatric or the, have the pregnant uh, have the pregnancy so basically what is our idea is to link the um, iron metal in place of the gadolinium metal which is toxic so we will use the uh, iron metal to derive or to make the contrast agents so basically in this project is not only the medicinal or the biochemistry but also the organic chemistry as well because we do have to make or we do have to take care of the synthesis of these contrast agents which sometimes may be tricky so to streamline the synthesis of these contrast agents we will use the ch activation strategies which is another topic of research in my lab so basically what we do is that uh, we use the ch activation strategies to synthesize the novel molecules in the simplest way we can make those molecules uh, effectively, economically, and the same will be applied for the contrast agent as well. So the projects will the project will be divided into three different parts. First is the synthesis of the contrast agents via the CH activation strategies. Second is to installation of those contrast agents on the graphene quantum dots, which is 
basically comes under the nanomaterials. The third will be the biological activity. So why we care about the contrast agent here is that because or why we say that the our contrast agent will be better than the other ones because as you can see here that our the design of the contrast agent is in a, such a way that it offers a static hindrance and will be better in for the for the shelf life or better for the bioavailability and the, the in terms of the toxic profile so uh, our initial result shows that the current or the newly uh, uh, synthesized contrast agent will have the better relaxivity as compared with the market available contrast agents so as i mentioned before the advantages will be the economical synthesis and affordable cancer detection and uh, for certain we are choosing the non-toxic iron metals they are biofriendly because we derive from the canned sugar waste certainly they will be of high and high intracellular stability so that uh, iron metal will not fall off during the, the the journey to the cancer site if the if the iron metal will not fall off of course there is no toxicity will be of higher sensitivity and better imaging why we care or why we should invest our efforts in this because the market value is increasing day by day and will and uh, definitely by 2025 or 27 will hit the market of the, uh, if we cover at least 10 percent of the market will be hit 50 crore of uh, crore target at present the market value is 4.89 billion dollars thank you for your attention